Good morning, folks. We have a couple key items to hit today. We'll see the last 24 hours of solar activity, and there are things to watch. We had a special video come out last night. We'll see a philosophical study of the cosmos and mega flares on sun-like stars. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on the sun. We find only C-class flares and large plasma filaments remain. We're going to pay extra attention to eruptive activity from those filaments and also the sunspots since their development continues to be significant. Three of the sunspot groups are growing quickly, and a bigger flare at any of them would not be unexpected. We'll have eyes on it for sure. Geophysically, we're still monitoring the volcano in Iceland, but earthquakes are back on the menu today as a significant blot echo just struck deep beneath Peru. Hopefully, a bigger surface quake is not to follow. Some eye candy up next, as it's always fun to see how the universe looks in different wavelengths of light, but sometimes it just looks a little cooler than others, like when they combine to make a Christmas tree in space. Thanks for the festive post there, Chandra. Up next, if you didn't catch our video on plasma filaments last night, it was the latest in Space Weather Learning Lessons series and has been added to the playlist. It shows why we watch filaments as closely as we watch sunspots and corona holes, and the link to that Space Weather Learning playlist is in your list below the video. Up next, we have a fascinating piece on predetermination according to quantum theories. This is exactly the pagan concept of fate, by the way, that there is no chance or randomness or other possible variability than what is. Link to that one is below. And lastly, folks, this is both amazing and the icing on the cake about studies on the sun. They looked at sun-like stars and found many super flares with them going as high as X6 million. That's right x6 million flares that would be the end of our planet very quickly and while our sun likely can't do that the science says we can see x1000 blasts periodically from the sun and that doesn't sound so outrageous now does it that's what the last four key studies have said now seen in a new light knowing what other suns can do don't forget folks all our books in pdf form are now discounted for the holiday season Grab them at the link below, and there are still a few tickets remaining for Phoenix on January 13th. We're going to go into some serious topics and have special guests as well. Tickets at the link below for the Observer event to kick off 2024. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.